สวัสดีค่ะ Good day everyone. So we are now down to our sample problem number five on natural earth pressure, considering Rankine's theory. Okay, see ya. So here is the problem: a 4.5 meters high retaining wall is supporting a horizontal backfill, having a unit weight of 15.7 kilonewton per cubic meter. And a saturated unit weight of 19.3 kilonewton per cubic meter. Groundwater table is located three meters below the ground surface, and our drain friction of angle for the backfill is 30 degrees. The wall is restrained from yielding. Now the soil has an overconsolidated ratio of two. Here are the questions. Compute the total force per unit length of wall for a trust condition. Letter B, compute the location of the resultant force, and letter C, compute the moment at the base due to this force. So, unsay ko an unsay kalay anan yatong sample number five or unsay yung unique feature ani. This is unique na problem because of the fact that we are now given here our over consolidated ratio. So, how are we going to deal with it, de ba? And unsa nato siya analyze. So yes, the solution. So first is we need to illustrate the what the figure itself para mas masabdrato. So ang groundwater table daw is na located three meters below the ground surface. So if this is our ground surface, ang location nito ng water table is three meters down. Anak three meters mo na to ang location sa water table. And yes, different ang yahang properties here, especially our Unit weights. There is moist unit weight. There is saturated unit weight, which is below the water table na level. And also, our angle of internal friction given here, or the drain friction of angle for the backfill, which is 30 degrees. So equal na siya, equivalent na siya ng term sa angle of internal friction. And our OCR here, which is two. So kani OCR two sa hole na niya ng soil la. Dili lang ang OCR pa sa botery ra. Kada siya. Hole na rin nga soil ang OCR, over-consolidated ratio. Pero kaning over-consolidated ratio is um, sa present ni siya nga condition sa soil. Kaya di ba naman tayo ginatawag na OCR yapon sa kato sa settlement sa clay. But ang ginaconsider nga OCR sa settlement sa clay is uh, katong past na condition sa soil. Katong wala pa yun na tandub ito ang soil, wala pa siya nahilabdan. And we all know, ang formula sa OCR is just diba ato kung atong maalala PC over PO where our PC is mo na siya ang pressure nga gina-exert sa ato ang or for example na by um exist or existing na loads diha sa una before nga gitukuran siya og mga structure tapos atong over PO PO means overburden pressure diba mas masagdan ato na siya kung i-discuss nako to ang settlement ang topic which is under siya sa compressibility of soils now let's get into this problem na so the keyword here is the wall is restrained from yielding so meaning wala siya nagmove na siya sa ihang unsa condition at rest condition wala siya dili wala siya dili siya sa passive dili po siya sa active kundi na siya sa ihang at rest na condition and also Given this problem A, which is give na pangita dun na to ang total force for at rest condition, so makabalo tada na ay kani si Yadi li tamo gamit ng active o passive ni Rankin, di ba? So therefore, at rest lateral earth pressure applies, and na tay formula for that, which is this one one minus sine phi times OCR or your over consolidated ratio. No question. Why is it nga kaya natong gigamit formula instead ato isa? Na k sub o is equal to a one minus sine phi lang. Iba naman tayo formula ng anak for normally consolidated soil. Kaya natong gigamit ng formula because of the fact that we have this OCR and our soil is not normally consolidated if na akay OCR. Okay. Kaya nasa is for normally consolidated and without OCR. And this formula, tong gi-apply karon is na siya OCR, which is two. Now by purely substitution or pure substitution, even if I substitute, we can get our coefficient of at rest earth pressure, which is zero point seven hundred seven. 
Now, ato ning idro ang iyahang mga diagrams. So, naatay for soil with water table and water. Always, yun sila partner, guys. Ha? If we have this water table here, kaning soil with water table, tapos water, then they always, yun sila partner. Okay, dili pwede nga soil with water table, kanina may analyze. Because this one here, soil na mag po siya yung mag-analyze, but, but broken down nang siya into different shapes. Okay, ang analysis ana by shapes naman da yun. Pwede rin water, pure water yun siya. Like, atong gamiton is ato ang um, K value sa water which is 1. Diba? Now, akong gi tabular form diri para mas dali ang analysis. For our pressure, sigma 1. Diri ta. First nga shape. So, it's just gamma HK. Atong gamma given 15.7 times 3 times 0 0.707 which is 33.30 okay na taning first sa second equal na siya din na to ni need so kanina mga nga solution so it's 33.30 gilang gihapon and atong mapansin same ra sila dire dire ka level ra ang uh, pressure dire dire nga level sa water table og sa bottom so same sila og pressure dire ang reason na it's because same ang ilahang angle of internal friction Ang ato ang K value, di ba, is dependent siya sa imuhang angle of friction. If malahi ganilang angle of friction, di ha, na na siya effect diri sa imuhang uh, diagram, di ba. Specifically, to be more specific rather, sa ato ang solid with water table nga diagram. Now, for our third shape, this one, this shape here, kanin triangle, Oh, gamma sat HK minus gamma water HK Atong gamma sat is 19.3 times HK Nga 1.5 times 0 0.707 minus 9.81 Which is our unit weight of water Gamit yung times Gamit yung din na to ang HK gihapon Diba? Times 1.5 times 0 0.707 Diri, gi shortcut na nako Kanina na siya ng formula So we have 10.06 And our pressure sa fourth na shape is gamma water times times h lang so na kay 81 times h nga 1.5 dere so makakuha kag 14.72 kilopascal to get for the force okay balik balik ta ni simply it's the area sa kada shape di ba so atong f1 one of base times height na kay 49.95 sa figure or sa shape number 2 na kay base times height 14.95 gihapon I consider ni mga height guys this height let's consider this different heights and one half base times height for this shape and a triangular one half times 10.06 times 1.5 7.55 and lastly sa tong water it's triangular so one half base times height so 11.04 kilonewton per meter Okay, pinakaunang question, compute the total force per unit length of wall. So, ato na silang ipang add na mga forces to get letter A. O, so, nara. Ipang add na to sila. O, di ba? Mawala mo na sila. Ang mga values here. We can get 118.49 kN per meter. So, this is our answer for letter A. Kaya ni check if this answer is same na ba diri? Or kung, for example, mga full values in gamiton upon calculation, pwede na Japan, like exactly tayo, pang store lang inyo siya sa inyo, calculator. So, kung medyo na dyan sila difference, pero gamay ra, siguro, yung difference, but that's okay. For letter B, location of the resultant force, again, for this, we will use always Varignon's theorem. And nga to, ang reference point is sa bottom sa wall. Okay. So, by by this by this one, mag shift solve lang kaani na kay 180.49. This is your total force per unit length of wall. Kaya din mga individual din sila ng mga forces, which is indicated dere sa table kani sa second na column. So, tapos kani is location sa centroid sa imuhang reference point, which is dere sa bottom. Like dere, kung kani mong pangitaan o distance, this is pila. One third of three plus one point five. Nara one third of three plus one point five. Kung dere po one half ra sa one point five. Dere one third sa one point five and also this one one third sa one point five. Nara. 
So by shift solve, we can get 1.45 meters as the location of the resultant force. So muna na siya na letter B. Answer sa B. Now, for letter C, moment at the base due to this force. Okay, kung naka-resultant force, ano, bottom sa wall, naka-resultant force located here, F ni mo ni. So, kaning Y bar, mo ni mong Y bar nga distance, tapos kanin siya, mag-moment mag ka sa bottom sa wall, so, iparotate ni mo na, so, naka-moment, which is F times Y bar. So, mo na siya formula. So, 118.49, this is our total force, pang-adra na mo sa kaganina, times 1.45, this is your Y bar. And we have this moment at the base, which is 171.8981, rather, 171.81 kilonewton meter. So, this is our answer. So, same mo siya dari. So, can you check na lang if same matag mga answers? So, that's all. So, I hope na may na-learn. Ano nga, a sample problem. Kapon ka!